Today marks International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia, but just because we're having to stay at home does not mean that we have to stay silent. Unfortunately, we're still living in a world where people face violence and inequality just because of who they are and who they love. The death penalty is still a legal possibility in 12 countries for same-sex activity, and even in the UK we're experiencing protests due to LGBT inclusive education, gay conversion therapy is still legal, and our current trans rights have been threatened. Today, please join Say It and its friends and allies in breaking the silence around LGBT plus phobia. Today and every day, we're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I am breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're We're breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I am breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I am breaking the silence. We're We're breaking breaking the the silence. silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I am breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. I am breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We're breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. We are breaking the silence. I'm breaking the silence. Which is worse, love or hate? Which is strongest, love or hate? So never to be silent whenever and wherever humans endure suffering and humiliation. We must always take sides Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. Elie Wiesel, Holocaust survivor.